I think that is a pretty scary image that our Lord shows us, you know, the house descending into chaos. The house that came down and fell because it was founded on sand. You know, our homes, our houses, the buildings that we are in, we look at them as places that are meant to be secure, that are meant to hold us together, meant to save us from the elements. You know, if you look at some houses, buildings um, that we still have at the moment, you know, they've survived the calamities of centuries because of the quality of materials that are in them, but also because of the depth of foundation that they have. Our Lord tells us today that listening to His words and acting on them is going to have this effect on our lives, that it will strengthen the foundations, that it will keep us secure. When we look at the example of the saints, for example, today Saint Robert Bellarmine, all of them in different ways, different manifestations, I guess, all founded themselves entirely on the rock of Christ's teaching hearing it and doing it. In this one, in hearing God's word and doing it, this is where our blessedness lies. Our Lord himself said so, you know, in that episode where someone says, you know, blessed is the one who gave birth to you, etc. You know, that woman in the crowd that gave praise to Jesus and to his mother. Jesus said, yes, but blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Because after all, other than bearing him in her womb, Mary also heard God's word and continued to keep it for all of her life. So did all the saints. And Jesus himself, you know, kept the word of his father, his father's will. He made it his food each day and did it perfectly, obediently, all the way to the end. And so that's why St. Paul says, that, that says to us that because of that obedience, his name has been raised above every other name. And so at Jesus' name, every knee shall bend. Dear friends, you and I, as we celebrate today's feast of St. Robert Bellarmine, let us also ask for that wisdom, that wisdom that the first reading was talking about. Wisdom to know what is God's will, to discern it, to be able to differentiate it from the will of the world and my own will, to be able to give this will priority, in spite and despite my sufferings and the things that I want to do, to follow it wholeheartedly, to be able to not count the cost or heed the wounds, to toil knowing that rest awaits us in the, in the after, in God's presence, to labor knowing that our reward is always in God's hands, and He will reward us generously and justly.